Welcome back to Words of Encouragement. I want to share with you this hilarious story that has brought me so much joy over the years. It has to do with my sister and her secondborn, Rowan. When he was little, about three or four years old, he loved candy, especially the little hard cellophane wrapped candies. And he had had a few one particular day. And he had another one, and my sister allowed him to keep it in his pocket because he promised he wouldn't eat it right then. He would save it for later. Well, she noticed out of the corner of her eye that his hand was in his pocket, and he was fingering the cellophane wrapped candy. And she said, Rowan, now remember, Mommy said you need to save that candy for later. And his reply to her was so sincere. And he said, I just, I just... I just am feeling it as he fingered the candy. And then, later on, she noticed he had pulled the candy out. He had it under his nose, wrinkling the paper. And she said, now, Rowan, remember, Mama said, you need to save that candy for later. And his reply again, so sincerely, okay, Mommy, I, I just, I just, I just am smelling it. All right, well, a little bit later, she noticed that he had unwrapped the candy and she turned her head just in time to see him pop it into his mouth and when she reminded him again that he was supposed to save that candy he replied i just i just am tasting it well i have laughed so often over the years when i've thought of that story and it reminds me of a verse in james chapter 1 verse 14 that says that we are led away by our own evil desires. And when those evil desires give birth to sin, see, if that isn't checked, then sin eventually gives birth to death. Now, of course, my nephew Rowan is fine. I think he still loves candy. <laughs> but it reminds me of such a life lesson, right? That if we find something that is causing us a problem, and I know so many people like myself who can pinpoint the decision that they made that turned out to be a very, very wrong thing in their life. Or maybe they turned the wrong way and it became just a bad, very bad decision. You know what? Take that desire, lock it away, put it on a shelf, close the cabinet door, and lock it away from you so that it doesn't cause you hindrances and problems. Find something else, find another habit, find another decision that's the right decision that will take you in the right path in your life. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm Tina, and we'll see you next time on Words of Encouragement. Bye-bye.